Have you ever wondered where you fall on a dating scale? Imagine if someone picked apart your traits and categorized them from best to worst. Well, that's what we're gonna do today for our lucky male audience. I will be ranking a list of factors and how they affect a man's dating life on a tier list. You probably already know the drill with S tier being the best tier. So the traits that are most crucial for a man to have will go here. Then we have a normal grading scale of A through F, with F obviously being the least important and worst traits will go there. So let's get into it. Okay, the first one is the ability to approach women. I'm gonna put that as S being crucial because if you can't even talk to a woman, how are you gonna date? Um, okay, the second one is genetic looks. I'm guessing that means how naturally handsome you are. You know, I'm only gonna put that under C because I think that for a man, your personality and your charisma can really go a long way. Um, and the same with these other physical type traits, height, physique, and skin complexion. I don't think that they're, they're that, they're, you know, they're kind of important, but I wouldn't put them at the top of the list. I would, per however, put hair, fashion, clothing, grooming, and hygiene at A being very important because you know hygiene it is it is crucial actually I'm gonna put that under crucial like no woman wants a man that's dirty you don't have to be Mr. GQ but you still have to look a little bit put together and presentable for sure um okay money income I'm gonna rate that as B, I actually think that's more important than looks for a man. Um, along with car, your apartment or house, um, your job or occupation. I think most women are more attracted to men that have stability um, and have a career that they're excited about. It's not crucial, you know, you could find a woman that maybe it's, it's not that important, but I think in general, I think women are very attracted to stability. Um, okay, group status. Mm, I don't think that's that is important. I'm just gonna put that as D. I think maybe it could help some men a little bit, but I don't think that really matters your group status or social connections that much and or where you live or access to women. I mean, that's why we have dating apps, right? You don't have to live around a lot of women to necessarily date. You can always fly, you can drive to go to meet up with a woman. Um, you know, if he wanted to, he would, right? Um, the next one, I'm just going to skip because it's a little inappropriate, I think, for this channel. Um, an ethnicity, I... I'm just gonna put that as F. I don't see why that matters at all. You can be any race. Okay, confidence, you know what? I'm gonna put that as, as A. I think that's really important, along with your charisma and social skills and humor and emotional connection. Oops, I mean, I meant that to be A. Um, and your touch. We want a man that is in touch with his emotions, for sure. I think that's really important and, you know, can be confident and lead, lead the way and has charisma. I think that's it's honestly more important than looks or your income um, in the dating world. Okay, next up, musical, dance, or singing ability. Uh, I don't think that's really that important. Honestly, it's it would be nice, I guess, to have, but um, well, yeah, I don't think that's important. Leadership, I'm gonna put that up with A2 along because I think that lends itself to confidence and knowing how to be in touch with your emotions um, and properly communicate is, is very important. Okay, I'm gonna skip the next one, being good in bed. That's also a little inappropriate. Um, okay, dogs and cats. Uh, I'm guessing that means if you have a dog or a cat. I'm only gonna put that as C because I think that, you know, if you don't have a pet, you could just, you could always 
you know, when once you start dating, if you want to get a pet together, you could get one. But I do think dogs really help men meet women out and about because, I mean, how can you pass a cute dog without wanting to stop and pet it? It's just such a great icebreaker. So, okay, being multilingual, uh, I don't think that really matters that much either. I will say having having an English or Australian or Irish accent, it can help you in the dating world. It, it can. So I'll put that as C. Um, as, as well as men in uniform, I think that can kind of help you in the dating world too, even though, you know, these two are kind of shallow things. But um, so they're at the same level as, as I think physical attraction. Cooking, um, I think a woman would much prefer a man to take her out on a date than necessarily cook for them. Maybe not everyone, but so I'm, I'm gonna say that's not that important if you can cook or not. Um, having masculine hobbies or skills, hmm, it's always good to have a hobby. So I'm gonna put that as B. I mean, I don't think they necessarily have to be a masculine hobby though. Um, so, so yeah, we're just gonna go with B. It's not, it's not crucial or the top of the list, but I guess it can help if a man is um, really good at, you know, building things or, you know, a sport or something like that. It can be pretty attractive. Altruism, that's, I think that's important if you you know, again, caring about other people and um, being grounded and in touch with your emotions is is very attractive. A boat, mm, I think that can help. I mean, how fun is that to go on dates on a boat, do a sunset cruise or happy hour together, but it is kind of a shallow thing again. So I'm just gonna put that under C. Okay, fame and clout, uh, I don't think that really matters. You don't have to be famous in order to have a great dating life, of course. And then martial arts and combat skills. Uh, I'm gonna put that under F because I think that's kind of creepy, actually. Wanting to, being able to fight and hurt other people, it's, it's not that attractive. So I, I don't think that's that's at the top of the list. So there you have it folks, the best and worst traits a man can have when it comes to dating. Drop a like if you wanna see more videos like this and I'll see you next time.